right, welcome. This is Casey. I'm here with Tyler in the back, Michelle, and Isabella. And we're here to just take you through a total body conditioning class. I know I'm, my voice is going to be fighting over some of the background noise, so forgive me. So we have a total body conditioning class. We're going to get some cardio and some strength training. We're going to start off with an endurance round, followed by a Tabata round. Endurance, Tabata, endurance, Tabata, and that's it. About 40 minutes of time, all you need is your body weight and a mat. If you want, feel free to go ahead and grab a can or two of food or maybe a pair of dumbbells. We're gonna be doing most of the work without anything at all, just to give you that option as well, but feel free to add weight to some of the workouts. All right, so to get started, we're gonna begin with a warm up to get our blood going, to get our heart pumping, and to prepare our muscles for work. So we're all gonna get started with a jaw. Just nice and light. Just nice and light in your feet, just preparing your joints. Start to bring your knees up a little bit higher. Feel free to play your own music. We have our music going here. I don't know if you can hear it, probably not. So get your favorite tunes. Make sure you have water nearby. And bring your kids, because they can do this too. A little higher. And what a great time to try out classes that maybe you haven't done before. Make it a butt kicker run. Hitting the ground nice and soft in your feet. About eight more of these. All right, let's go into jumping jacks. Landing nice and soft in your feet. If you're not quite ready for the jump yet, you can always go side to side in your feet. Again, land quietly. Make sure your knees and toes are turned out a little bit. Four more. All right, so next, I want you to turn. You're gonna get into a crouch, bear crawl out. Give me one push up, bear crawl back, heels down, lift up. Do it again. We wanna get about six of these. It doesn't have to be a super big push up either. Just enough to prepare your arms, prepare your chest, your core, and your back for what's to come. Work at your own pace. Another option here, guys, just to show you. You can come to your knees. Bear crawl from here. Push up from there. You don't have to have to come all the way up. This is your class, so you can customize. All right, was that six? Six. I was talking. All right. Six. Good. So next, I want you to come down into a plank. You're going to take one foot to the side, drop your hips, and then open up. Looking up to that upper hand. Bring your hand back down, step back, other side. Lower your hips, a little bit of hip mobility, and then keep alternating. You can work at your own pace. Again, hip mobility is really important before you start running, before you start jumping around, before your squats and lunges. You wanna make sure that your hips are prepared and ready to go. <laughs> Very good, guys. All right, two more. It's nice to see some familiar faces. I know it's a crazy time. All right, so let's get started. So we're gonna begin with some endurance training. 40 seconds of work, followed by a 20 second break. We're gonna alternate between six exercises. For now, we do it one time. It's all you have to worry about, six exercises, one time. To begin with, to begin with, we have a lateral squat. So you're gonna squat side to side. Doesn't matter what your hands do, whatever you need to do. You can take it here, or you can add a little bit of a jump to it. Find your own range. Find what's gonna work for you best. All right, in 10 seconds. So again, let me show you your options. Ready? Set. Let's go. All right, so the most important thing here, I love this. I love working with people that exercise because I can listen to their sound of their feet. I don't hear anything. <laughs> when you hit the ground, you wanna land very soft. Let your legs absorb the shock and not the joints of your knees and ankles. You are halfway there. So feel free, you knowing you're only halfway there, to pull back, or maybe now you can advance it. All right, come on guys, just a few more. We're not repeating this. Almost, about five seconds. Good, chest up, shoulders back, beautiful job. All right guys, take a rest. 20 Woo! seconds, I'm gonna show you what's coming next. We have a push-up, you're gonna come down, and then you're gonna add a reach. 
You can be on your knees for this as well. Whether you're on your knees or toes, you want to avoid, when you reach especially, you want to keep your hips and shoulders square. Go ahead, get down. Hands out wide. Go ahead. 40 seconds. Good, we're all going to look a little different. If you check out Tyler's option down here, if you have any wrist issues, feel free to go onto your fists or grab a set of dumbbells. You can actually use them to keep your wrists in neutral. Otherwise, hands flat. Your chest is falling between your hands. And you want to keep your body from rotating out or up. Belly is tight. If you are on your knees, I'd like you to put your toes down and try to keep them from there. Oh, like this. Oh, my goodness, is what I meant to say. Six seconds. Almost. Three, two, one. Woo! All right, come up to your feet. We have a single leg deadlift. Let's all start on the right leg. We might not be the same right leg as you, but we're on our right leg. Heel down. Whoops. Try not to kick a chair or a child behind you. Hinge forward, reach across, and then lift up. Hinge forward, reach across, and then lift up. Ready? Go ahead. 40 seconds. So we're all on our right side. Notice our options here. You can go ahead and grab a dumbbell. You can rely on body weight only. Or you can keep both feet connected. And you can work on both legs evenly. So our first round of endurance, we're going to focus on the right side of our body with some of these moves. I promise we'll get the left side. Good. Focus on keeping your right leg long. Slight bend in your knee. If you want to level up a little bit, you can lift your knee. And then go back down, adding a little bit more to the balance. Three seconds. Two. One. Shake it out. You're halfway through. So next, we have an agility squat. Again, we're going to focus on the right side. Get down to a wide squat. We're going to go quick, quick, and then back over. Quick, quick, and then back over. Adding a little reach. Stay in your legs. Stay low. And I'll show you your option. Give it a try. Three, two, one. Go ahead. Quick, quick. Back over. So your primary target here is this nice, slow, wide squat. You're just going to react, come back over, and hold. React, come back over, and hold. When you hold that squat, go ahead, keep going, girl. When you hold your squat, you're going to be sinking into your heels. Hips down, chest up, shoulders back. 20 seconds, we're halfway there. So this is going to definitely bring your heart rate up. Guys, I know this is tough. It's a hot day, guys. <laughs> keep it up, come on. Seven seconds. At least next we get to lay down. Isn't that nice? Quick, quick, back over. 20 second rest. Next, we're gonna incorporate your upper back. If you have light dumbbells or you have light cans, you can grab them. You're gonna lay down, face down, reach out. I'm gonna do it without anything. Squeeze your butt, reach your arms out, and then pull back. It's more about length than it is the lift. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, and then come back down. Go ahead, get started. 40 seconds. Reach and squeeze. If you do have dumbbells or cans, keep them light. If you feel any pressure or anything discomfort, just put them down. You're good. Your target here is your upper back. You want to squeeze your shoulder blades together. You probably didn't hear anything I just said because I turned around, but you want to squeeze your shoulder blades together when you bring it down. 12 seconds. Good, nice long reach. Squeeze your backside. You got six seconds, guys. Keep breathing. All right, the last thing we have to do before we take a nice long minute break before our Tabatas is our frog jump. So starting in a plank, you're gonna jump in, jump back, jump in, jump back. As an alternative, you can do one foot out the side, you can do it with a jump, or both feet in and back. Belly tight, remark, get set, go ahead. 40 seconds. Great job, guys. So this is extremely customizable. I want you to do whatever you need to do to get through your workout and have maybe a little bit of fun while you're being tortured. Just a little bit. So great opportunity to advance if you want to work in the back. 12 seconds. All right, Tyler, Michelle, Issa, keep it up. Five, Woo! four, three, two, one. We have one minute. Opportunity to grab a drink, readjust ourselves. Woo! 
Something important to mention, although it might be a little late, is you want to make sure that you have space. So push your coffee table aside, move your couch. If there's a ceiling fan, be aware of where it is when we add some jumps. Because we're adding jumps now, that's why. So Tabata, two exercises, 20 seconds each, 10 second break. We're gonna repeat each exercise four times and alternate between the two. So it's four straight minutes of awesomeness is what I'm trying to say. The first exercise is a star jump. Up like that or, again, just 20 seconds or a jumping jack. The second exercise is a lateral hop. Hop and hold, hop and hold. A little balance training. We're gonna get off balance. It's a good way to improve your balance. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Good. Guys, I love it. I love the options. You don't have to look like anybody else. Land soft and quiet in your legs. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Next, lateral hop. So hop over, find your balance. Hop over, find your balance. It's not gonna look pretty. Three, two, one, lateral hops. Good. You can tap down, just give you a little extra support, or keep your knee lifted. Again, when you land, make sure your knee is soft and absorbs the, your whole leg absorbs the shock, not your joints. Take a rest. 10 seconds. Back to our star jumps. It's beautiful out here, but it is warm. So if you're outside, we feel you. Not me, then. Go ahead, star jumps. Down, up. Good. So Issa is modeling our lovely jumping jacks. Good, nice soft for you. Chest up. Three, two, one. Woo! So we have the lateral hops. If you do have any joint issues, you can always just go from one foot to the other. Challenge your balance that way without a big jump. You can make it a little wider, go ahead. You can make it a little wider. It doesn't necessarily have to be a jump. To begin with, 
We're gonna take a wide, wide to narrow squat. It's gonna look like this. Wide, narrow, wide, narrow, jump. And then you're gonna go back. Wide, narrow, wide, narrow, vertical jump. Land soft in your legs. So you're gonna go two forward, two back, and then a vertical jump. If jumping's not gonna work for you today, get down and go wide, narrow, wide, narrow, jump. So there are options if you're not ready for those jumps. 10 seconds. 40 seconds, for 40 seconds, you only do it once. Five, four, three, two, one. Wide, narrow, wide, narrow, vertical jump. Good, and then just go backwards. This is really good training for your brain too. You're doing the same movement forward that you are backward. So you're actually getting smarter besides stronger, so that's good news. Halfway there. Keep it up. I'm just going to show you the option. The option without the jumps. Come on. Ten. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And Michelle is still smiling. So if you're wondering, she is still smiling. <laughs> Try some push-ups with the reach. We did regular push-ups. Now instead of your elbows going out, they're going to go back. Try some push-up. Reach out. Knees or toes, ready? Go ahead, get down, hands underneath your shoulders. Three, two, one. Your elbows slide right, right next to your uh, cage. These are hard. Great options. Options on your fists. Knees down are great. If you want to make it a little bit harder, even though you're on your knees, let your toes touch the ground. Try not to rotate. Try to keep your belly tight. Hips square, shoulders square. You only have 10 more seconds and we have no more tricep push-ups for this class. You can do more later if you want to. Awesome, super advanced, looking good. Three, two, one. Woo! All right, deadlift. This time we're gonna focus on the left side of your body. So keep your left heel down. We're gonna reach across and then come up. So we did this before, but on the right side. So we're just gonna even things out a little bit. Connect your heel firmly to the ground. Set yourself up, ready, set, go ahead. Reach across and lift up. So a few ways to vary it. You can always tap down in the back and tap down in. You can reach a little deeper and then shoot up. Find a little bit trickier in the balance. You can grab weights. You can keep both heels down. But your primary moving muscle should be your hamstrings and glutes. So I want you to focus, be intentional with your deadlift. Squeeze your backside. Three seconds. Two, one. All right, next we have the agility squat. So you're going wide, but this time we're gonna shoot left and back. Quick, quick, back, back, stay low. It's all about reaction. Moving through space and time a little quicker. Challenge your athleticism. So go ahead, get down into a wide spot. Get ready, set, go. Quick, quick, back, back. Quick, quick, focus on that wide spot. Maybe you're not feeling that spry. Another option is that right there. Quick, quick, back, back. Quick, quick, back, back. Whatever you wanna do with your hands. I have my reaction, my athletic card. You can put your hands gently on top of your thighs if you want. Only 15 seconds to go. Quick, quick, back, back. Quick, quick, back, back.
high squat, chest lifted, belly tight, and we're just going to jab, okay? So wide core stance, and then we're going to jab. So go ahead, sink in, isolate our isometric squat, nice and wide. So your target's right in front of your nose, that's your target. Your arms are extending, but you're not locking out your joint, wrist is flat. Use those top two knuckles. Can you get a little deeper? Nice and strong. Sink into your heels. Speed it up. Ten seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Grab a drink. Woo! Like I said it's hot. I know it's hard to hear with the air conditioning unit, but stay with us.
You're also squeezing the muscles on your pelvic floor. Nice and tight, taking the support in your back. Belly tight, abdominals brace. The further out you can go, even if your hips are down, the further out you go, the more you get into your hamstrings. You have five seconds to finish. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Very last exercise. 40 second finish. Last feet, you're gonna go four, three, two, one, down. Four, three, two, one, down. And a little pace. So fast feet for four, down, four, down. Ready? Get set. 40 second finisher. Down to four and drop. So you're dropping quickly right back up. I love it, guys. Come on. 30 seconds. Almost there. Drop. Drop. Quick, quick. Halfway. Halfway. You're going for your Woo! best. The beautiful thing about doing this online is you can do it more than once. You can try to beat your effort the next second time, third time you do it. Eight seconds. Six, five, come on, four, three, two, one, air high fives. Yes. You don't want to lay down, you don't want to sit down. You want to keep your feet moving. All right, so to start off with, you want to bring our breath back. So inhale, reach up, keep your feet moving. Exhale down. Get some new oxygen into your lungs. All the way up, all the way down. One more time, all the way up, all the way down. All right? So we're gonna take one foot back, tuck your tailbone, sink into it, a flexor stretch and switch. This is a dynamic stretch. So dynamic stretches, almost work in reversible warm up. So open up your hips, lift up. You, you want to feel on the front side of your body. You want to feel, feel the band of your hip flexor stretch. You want to feel that stretch as you reach. One more. <laughs> Let's get your glutes. Make more of your thigh. Sit back. You can hold on to something for balance. Try and hold on to one of your children. Other side. Ankle flex to protect your knee. Folds outward. Let's get your quads. Pull it in. Hips open, knees close together. Press your shoe against your hand. Alright, shake it out to the other side. So that was good. You got a little bit of everything. Body weight only. Feel free to incorporate any other tools that you have around the house that might help you with some extra strength training. Take your right leg behind your left. Reach up at a tricep stretch. Other side. All right, take a big inhale. Exhale, fold in half. So stay down, stay down. Keep your tailbone lifted. Keep your legs long and shift your weight back into your heels. All right, good, sit down. Shift your weight back into your heels. Let your head and neck just fall. Shake it out a little bit. Imagine that they're not even connected to your neck. Shake it out a little bit. Release your muscles. Extend your legs a little more. Now bend your knees and roll up. Roll up. Press your knees together. Press your knuckles away. Open up your back. Press your knuckles away from your body. Take your hands behind your back. Press your knuckles down. Lift your chest. Now your posture is aligned. We're gonna keep it aligned. Give yourself a round.